So Sasha Venzikov, hopefully I said that correctly, Sasha Venzikov, the Bulgarian, he's also a Creopt from Cyprus and a Greek. He has three citizenships, but I've been told specifically he's first a Bulgarian. Bulgarian comes first. But this man, okay, this is one of the best players in Europe. He actually was part of the Euro League team, like the first team. And he's a guy that I actually have been, when we first saw him go over, he or be rumored to come over was when his rights were trading. This is a guy who's played for Barcelona. He's also played, he's mainly played in the Greek league of as of late with Olympiacos. Hopefully I said that correctly. And he's a guy who's basically for the last four seasons been a 38 to 40% three-point shooter. A guy who'll come in easily give you about, you know, close to 10 points a night, grab about five to six rebounds, give you a steal, and dish out a few assists. But really, he's a good floor spacing for, he's, he ha, he's shown the ability to play some small forward. I don't know about power forward, but he does have the size that is needed. But this man's only 26 years old, and they want to bring him over. He's 225 pounds. And shout out, first off, Lucas Mil Malino M Malino Sokas. Sorry, I'm very bad with, as a guy whose parents are from Argentina and Italy, and my family comes from Yugoslavia and Basque Country, France, and Argentina. I am terrible at names. But either way, Sasha Vinzikova was the 2017 NBA draft pick with the 57th overall pick. The Nets chose him, then they traded him to the Cleveland Cavaliers during that blockbuster James Harden trade. And people thought the Sasha Vinzikova trade was just, you know, just the draft rights trade. And Vinzikova has admitted this is the closest to the NBA he's ever been and he's excited to talk with the Kings and the Kings have been interested in him and the general manager of the Kings Monty McNair presented the move in a post draft press conference and according to him the move came within the organizations the Kings are hoping to get better on the offensive end and Monte McNair envisions Venzikova as a perfect fit with the club's vision and looking right now Venzikova projects as a piece near this team's you know with the team starters potentially as the small forward, if they put Harrison Barnes at power forward, or they could run Harrison Barnes at small forward, Venzikova at power forward, and then you run center Sabonis, but you have Keegan Murray off the bench, or yeah, I mean that that's what that seems like they're trying to do right now. Or they could, I don't think they're going to go huge and put Barnes at shooting guard and Murray and Venzikova. But you get what I'm saying, and it's exciting to see what's happening. And for me, Sasha Venzikov, also, I think he's a guy who is a lot better than what most people think. And he actually, Venzikov was first in tournament points in the 2013 U18. He averaged 22.4 points and Sabonis in that tournament averaged 11.4. So the thing is, is people people don't realize is they never they Venzikov and Sabonis never played together but they're both you know both guys who come from European background and supposedly Sasha Venzikov has a good relationship with Jonas Valanciunas and again Sasha Venzikov had a career year last year with the EuroLeague averaging 13.7 points shooting 37% from three and 5.9 rebounds and he had a PIR which is basically their version of a PER of 17.8 which was sixth best in the competition and the Olympia Olympiacos made the final four for the first time in 2017 being lead by Sasha Baron Coven. And Venzikov was all EuroLeague first team with Mike James, Nikola Mirtich, Shane Larkin, Eddie Tovaris. And yeah, right now his future is tied with Olympiacos who extended his contract. But according to Gazeta.gr, the contract is worth $2.7 million with a buyout of $750,000 for the NBA according to SDN journalist Christios Saltas. So little little news right there again guys shout out basket news let me know what you guys think of these videos i've made in the past discussing you know euro league players i make these videos all the time they're not as pop yeah they're not as popular as my other videos but basically i make at least once 
once every, once a week I make a Euro League video discussing guys like this one on June 23rd I made of Sasha Venzikova. So for me I think making videos like this is very fun and yeah, I want to hear your thoughts down below. I love you guys. Like and subscribe.